Have you ever looked up at the night sky and wondered what's out there in the vast expanse of the universe? This is the realm of astronomy, a natural science dedicated to the exploration of celestial objects and cosmic phenomena. From the twinkling stars to the distant galaxies, each holds a myriad of secrets waiting to be unraveled. This fascinating field is divided into two main branches, observational and theoretical. Observational astronomy involves direct study of celestial bodies, while theoretical astronomy uses mathematical models and simulations to explain their behavior. But that's just the tip of the cosmic iceberg. So, buckle up, stargazers. Join us on this journey as we delve into the basics of astronomy and unravel the secrets of the universe. Let's begin with observational astronomy, the art of scrutinizing the cosmos. This intriguing branch of science involves observing celestial objects directly or indirectly with the help of various instruments. Think of it as a cosmic detective work where we use tools such as telescopes to gather clues about the universe's expansive mysteries. Now, what exactly are we observing? Well, our subjects of study are as diverse as the universe itself. We observe stars, those luminous spheres of plasma that light up the night sky. We study planets, celestial bodies that orbit stars, reflecting their host star's light. We gaze at galaxies, immense systems of stars, gas, dust, and dark matter, all bound together by gravity. And we look at other celestial phenomena, from comets streaking across the sky to the mysterious black holes that challenge our understanding of physics. Observational astronomy allows us to explore the universe without leaving our planet. It's like having a cosmic passport, granting us access to the farthest reaches of space. Through it, we unlock the secrets of the universe, one observation at a time. Observational astronomy gives us the tools to gaze at the stars and beyond. Imagine a giant sphere surrounding the Earth. This is the celestial sphere. A marvelous construct of the human mind, it's the canvas upon which we've painted our understanding of the cosmos. It's not a physical object, nor a tangible reality, but rather an imaginary sphere with Earth at its center. In this grand model, the stars, planets, galaxies, all celestial objects are projected onto its surface, akin to the dots and lines of a map. This sphere spins with us, following our planet's rotation, creating an illusion that the heavens revolve around us, a celestial ballet choreographed by the laws of physics. The celestial sphere is divided into constellations, distinct regions of the sky, each holding a unique story from human history and mythology. It also has poles and an equator directly mirroring those on Earth, helping astronomers chart the skies with precision. The concept of the celestial sphere allows us to grasp the vastness of the universe and our place within it, providing a frame of reference to locate and track celestial bodies across the night sky. The celestial sphere, a map of the stars, guiding astronomers through the cosmic ocean. Now let's shine a light on the stars and planets that make up our universe. Imagine gazing at the night sky. The twinkling lights you see are not all the same. Some are stars, massive and luminous spheres of plasma held together by gravity. These celestial giants are not just shining for show. They are hard at work producing light and heat through a process known as nuclear fusion. This process, taking place in the star's core, transforms hydrogen into helium. The energy generated is so immense, it radiates out into the cosmos, reaching our planet and making our star, the Sun, visible to us. Stars are incredibly diverse. They come in a variety of sizes, from dwarfs barely larger than Jupiter to supergiants hundreds of times the size of our Sun. Their colors, too, span a spectrum, with shades dependent on their temperature, Blue stars are the hottest, while red stars are cooler. Each star goes through different stages of evolution, from a nebulous birth in a stellar nursery to a possible dramatic end as a supernova. Now, let's turn our gaze to the silent wanderers of the cosmos. The planets. Unlike stars, planets don't produce their own light. They are celestial bodies that orbit stars, basking in their host's light and reflecting it back into space. This is why we can see them from Earth. Our solar system, with the Sun at its heart, is home to eight planets, including our own Earth, the third rock from the Sun. Each planet has its own unique characteristics, 
from the ringed beauty of Saturn to the fiery surface of Venus. Planets can be rocky like Earth and Mars, or gaseous like Jupiter and Saturn. Some even have moons of their own, with Jupiter boasting an impressive 67 known moons. From the fiery stars to the cold, silent planets, each celestial body tells a unique tale in the cosmic narrative. Beyond our solar system, we find galaxies, vast systems of stars and cosmic materials. These galaxies are mind-bogglingly immense, containing not just stars but also stellar remnants, gas, dust, and a mysterious component known as dark matter, all bound together by the force of gravity. Imagine these galaxies as cosmic cities, each with billions, sometimes trillions, of celestial inhabitants. The Milky Way, our home galaxy, is one such cosmic city. It's an awe-inspiring neighborhood of the universe, housing not only our solar system, but billions of other stars and their accompanying planetary systems. Yet, the Milky Way is just one among billions of galaxies strewn across the cosmos, each with its own unique assembly of stars and cosmic materials. Now let's shift gears a bit. From galaxies, we move to the grander scale of the universe itself. This is the realm of cosmology. Cosmology is kind of like the history and philosophy of the universe combined. It doesn't just study what the universe is made of, but also its origin, its evolution, and its eventual fate. From the Big Bang to the present day, cosmologists trace the life story of the universe. They study the large-scale structure of the universe, its expansion, and the distribution of galaxies. It's like piecing together a cosmic jigsaw puzzle, where each galaxy is a piece of the grand cosmic picture. In essence, galaxies are the building blocks of the universe, and through cosmology, we seek to understand the universe's grand design. Our journey through the cosmos is guided by observational tools and fundamental laws. Among the most essential tools in our cosmic journey are telescopes. These incredible instruments, both ground-based and space-based, allow us to gather and analyze electromagnetic radiation from celestial objects across a wide spectrum of wavelengths. From visible light to radio waves, from infrared to ultraviolet, X-rays and gamma rays, telescopes offer us a window into the universe that our naked eyes could never provide. But tools alone are not enough. We also need a roadmap, and that's where Johannes Kepler comes in. Kepler's laws of planetary motion, three laws that describe the motion of planets around the Sun, serve as our guide. These laws, formulated centuries ago, have paved the way for our understanding of orbital mechanics and the dynamics of the solar system, allowing us to predict planetary positions and navigate the solar system with remarkable precision. With these tools and laws, we navigate the vastness of space and time. Our cosmic journey brings us to black holes, regions of space-time where gravity reigns supreme. These fascinating entities are born when massive stars collapse under their own gravity or through the mergers of compact objects. They are so strong that they can bend the fabric of space-time itself, forming a sinkhole from which nothing, not even light, can escape. This is why they are called black holes. They are the ultimate testament to the power of gravity and a reminder of the complexities of our universe. But our journey doesn't end here. From the enigmatic black holes, we transition to the birth of the universe itself with the Big Bang Theory. This is the prevailing cosmological model that outlines the early development and expansion of our universe. It suggests that the universe originated from an extremely hot and dense state then expanded and cooled over billions of years to become the cosmos we observe today. This theory explains the origin of galaxies, the cosmic microwave background radiation and the large-scale structure of the universe. The Big Bang theory and the concept of black holes may seem like separate entities, but they are intertwined through the fabric of space-time. They both play a crucial role in our understanding of the cosmos, contributing to the rich tapestry of astronomy. From the enigmatic black holes to the birth of the universe, astronomy takes us on a thrilling voyage through space and time.